Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today on AADL TV. Today I am here, my name is Lucy, and I am here to show you how to make these little paper bird finger puppets. I have a couple. This one I started right here. Like this. They are very easy to make, and all you need to make them is paper. I took this piece of paper from my, actually it's a piece, scrap piece of paper that I've already printed on, which is going to be fine, and I'll show you why when we get started. So you need a piece of paper, and you need scissors so that you can cut your piece of paper, and then you also need something to decorate your bird with. So I have a bunch of Sharpies here that you could use colored pencils, you could use crayons, whatever you have on hand is fine. So to get started, you're gonna take your piece of paper and if you got your piece of paper from the printer like I did or a piece of scrap paper, that's gonna be eight and a half by 11 and we actually just wanna use half of that sheet to make a cute little bird that is this size. So, the first thing I'm going to do is fold my paper in half like that. Like I'm making a book. And then I'm just going to cut on that line that I made. So this will actually give me enough paper to make two birds. So now I'm just going to take one half of my paper and then we'll get started folding this the way we need to, to make a bird. We actually need to have a square piece to start out. So we still have a rectangle. So we have one more thing we need to do to get a square and I will show you how to do that. So to turn your rectangle into a square, you just want to fold one corner of the page up like this. And then you can cut off this part right here. And then you have a triangle. When you unfold it, it will be a square. And it already has this nice middle fold in it, which is great because we need that to start folding. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this line in the middle here facing me and then I'm going to take one side, fold it up here to meet the middle line. And I will take the other side up here to meet the middle line as well. So you have something that looks like a kite. I can show you a little bit closer up what that fold looks like. And then you're just gonna fold it in half like this. So you have a triangle here with a short side, a longer side, and this long flat side. And you want to hold, put this up at the top. This is going to be where you're making your first fold. And you kind of find the center of this line. So we're just guessing here. I'm going to guess about here. And you kind of pinch it to make a little mark like that. Because that is going to help you figure out how to fold your bird. Now I'll show you how you do the folds to turn this into a bird. Okay, so this is that point up here where we pinched and we guessed in the middle. So we're going to want to take the shorter side of the triangle and fold it down like this. So that it looks like. It's like this. And you just have 
this point here on that side because that's going to be your beak. Now, when you make this fold, you might have to do it more than once because you're going to want to make sure you have enough here to go all the way over your triangle and wrap around. I will show you what that looks like. So you're going to fold this up over your triangle. That's what it looks like on the side I folded it up on. And on the other side, you can see that there's this extra piece. So now I'm going to want to take that and wrap it over. And there should be a little end right here. And I can go ahead and tuck that little end in. Okay, so now that you have tucked this piece in here, what you actually have is your little bird. And on this side, you can kind of open it up. You can stick your finger in this enclosed space. So now what you have to do is you have to decorate your bird. You can do it um, with any colors that you want. You can put a beak on it. You can put eyes on it. Let's start decorating and see what we come up with. Okay. <laughs> coloring your bird as well. And now that you've finished one little bird puppet, you can take the other half of that piece of paper from before and you can make another one. And if you were using a piece of scrap paper like I was, just make sure when you fold your bird that the writing is on the inside of the folds and that way it won't show up on the outside of your bird. Unless, of course, you would like it on the outside of your bird. So I hope you have fun making a bunch of these cute little finger puppets. They're much better in a flock. And thanks for tuning in to AADL TV. I'll see you next time. Bye.